Jordan Sparks, apparently, and uh, Battlefield. It's 7.51. Mm. Seems to be a welder. Uh, nine minutes to eight. Good morning. This is the Chris Moyle Show, International Radio 1. What? I did something uh, which I've never done before with my um, one of my best mate, Jodie, oh, yeah. uh, with his girlfriend, Abby. Well, it wasn't it wasn't with her. Well, it was, she was there, but it was more for her. Hmm. And uh, she really enjoyed it. Oh, you haven't you haven't got her the ultimate ticket, have you? Because you know, um, you know, uh, <laughs> what <laughs> Dave? No, you know that um, Barrowman is touring again. Oh no, no, it was it's nothing to do with John Barrowman. Oh, he's on Scott's show today, by the way. Is he? Mm. Bless him. He opened a school fate at the weekend. I was just about to say that Michael Barrowman was touring again. I was getting mixed up. Now it's John Barrowman. Either way, a ticket to either show would yeah. be. Uh, Equal in my eyes. Um, we had some. We had them. The came, uh, they came around for a, a late brunch on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So I did the omelets. Oh, the burglet. No burglet, but what I did was I did um, a couple of ham omelets, mm -hmm. uh, uh, bacon omelets. For myself, I did a sausage and bacon omelet. And I'll tell you right now, it's a little bit too much. Is it? Mm. What? Too much filling. And for Abby, I've never done this before, mushroom omelette. See, I don't like mushrooms. I that's don't what, like mushrooms either. That's what puts either. me off a mushroom omelette. I don't like it, but I've got to say, it was the best looking one of the batch. It was looked, it? It looked nice and uh, and hearty. It's a good ingredient, though, for omelettes, isn't it? Because it, you know... And I've already started planning my next few dishes. And I'm desperate, I told you, I'm desperate to make a stew. I'm like, I turn into an old woman, but I'm going to make a stew. Well, why don't you get a traditional Irish stew recipe, possibly? Because I'm going to go... F having ever made a stew before, Dave, I'm planning on the basic stew recipe. Well, the Irish stew can't be difficult, surely. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't eat stew. Ask your mum. She must be able to make an Irish stew. Well, yeah, but I'm going to make a basic stew. I've never made a stew before. I'm going to start with the basics. Why do you want to... I don't... Because I just think it'll be fun to cook. Because that's like cooking something... Oh, no, I think it'll be, bo be bored. It takes well, a long time to do. Well, from what I've read, though, it's, it's not that different to making a curry. You kind of chop it all up, you shove it in, you leave it. Yeah. yeah. You go off for a couple of hours, you come back, it's done. And it's a sauce-based dish. All sauce-based dishes are like that. Have you made a stew? No. Well, shut up, then. Have Wait, you made a curry? How difficult can it be? Have you made a curry? Of course I have. How many times? Uh, hundreds. H hundreds? Hundreds of times. Rubbish. Of course I haven't made a curry. What? Have I made a curry? I was cooking ten years ago when you were still warming up microwave doner kebabs. That was once and once only. It was very really? nice. Yes. Was it once? All right, no, I, I, I did it again once, but it wasn't. The experience wasn't as good the second time round. But microwavable kebabs potentially were at one point the future, but they're not now. I look a bit like a like an insole. Thank God he said that the right way around. Mm. <laughs> right. Uh, do you want to do the chart? Yes, please. Odds or evens? Uh, I'm going to say evens. Right. That means you go first, yeah? I would like that. We have the brand new top ten singles chart and we'll play the brand new number one. So here is the chart. At ten, up 15 places to this week's number ten, Billy Jean, Michael Jackson. Nine. At number nine, she's called Pixie Lot, and her song is mm. called Mama Do. Mama Do. Mama Do. You don't want to meet her on the stairs because she will knock you down. Kerry Hilson, Kanye West, Neo, down three to number eight. I once leased a me, and then the lease ran out. I'm thinking of releasing the me, release me, mm. Six. Three words. First word, boom. Second word, boom. Third, pow. Black Eyed Peas. I saw her bottom last night on stage at Wembley. Then again, so did 80,000 other people. Lady Gaga, paparazzi at five. Down two to this week's number four. David Guetta, FT, Kelly Rowland, When Love Takes Over. Down two to this week's number four, just outside the top three. LaRoux is number three with Bulletproof. It's a parody of our song, yep. Waterproof. Two. He has an incredible two entries in the top ten this week. Man in the Mirror, up nine to this week's number two, Michael Jackson. But he didn't do it because he's not number one. Who is number one? Well, God damn it, I'm going to tell you. It's Cascada. Hi, Chris Moyles. Hi, team. This is Natalie from Cascada wishing you a very good morning. Thank you. 
the UK's official number one. one, one. Listen Sundays from four to Radio One's chart show with Fern and Reggie. <laughs> Congratulations uh, to Cascada, mm. who are the UK's number one, or as it should be pronounced properly, the UK's number one. I really like that. I know you do, Rachel. Mm. But, you know, I'd, I'd rather have Man in the Mirror be number one. And I don't want to take anything away from the lovely Natalie from Cascada, because she seems like a very nice lady. Mm. In fact, she said good morning to us all. Hi, Chris Moyles. Hi, team. Hi. This is Natalie from Cascada wishing you a very good morning. Well, a very good morning to you, too. Morning, it is Natalie. a good morning. morning. You are number one. Mm. Yeah. Well done. Thanks. To you and the other Cascadas. Yep. Jeff Cascada and all the other. Mm-hmm. I didn't realise, is it like the Cascada family? Yes, yeah. it is, yeah. Like the Cascada Five. She's <laughs> Natalie Cascada. Yeah. There's Jeff's Cascada. Let me, mm. just, let me just make a note of these. Sure. There's Natalie. Yeah. Jeff. Jeff. Greg. Greg. Beryl. And this dub is no, so that's silly. There is. Dominic, what are the other names? Uh, fra- Fracata. <laughs> you got Fracata Cascada. It's like her, yep. it's one of the, yeah. And the other one is Nigel. <laughs> so, there they are. I never knew that. Well done to all the of them. The Cascada family. Yeah. Well, hello to you, Natalie and Jeff, Greg, <coughs> Nigel and... Fracata. Fracata. Hi, Chris Moyles. Hi, team. This is Natalie from Cascada wishing you a very good morning. Mm. Well, thank God she did the jingle and not to, to the other one. <laughs> um, Fracata is a girl? Uh, I think so, yes. Right. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Digital FM online. This is BBC Radio 1. We haven't told us about to take that for five minutes, um, so we will in five minutes. We're going to play you a track from last night's gig at Wembley. The last night of the big tour. We'll play it for you as a little tease for what you can hear from nine o'clock. We've got an hour of take that live highlights between nine and ten. If you can't wait, you got to go to uh, work or whatever. We'll play you a track from last night's kid coming up next after the news and sport with Dominic. It's a minute past eight. A British soldier is killed in a major offensive against the Taliban. And in sport, Roger Federer is the greatest ever Grand Slam champion. And the weather, patchy rain and the chance of a few showers all over the UK today. And there could be some thunder in parts of South Wales oh, as well. Great. Five minutes past eight now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. And what, what's the good news? Uh, well, it's kind of not it's cold. negative. Where's the... Where's the um Where's the temperatures? Where's the sunshine? There's, you might see a bit of sunshine, but generally it's cloudy and wet and not very nice, but it's still quite warm. Oh no, you said, read it what you just said. Patchy rain. Patchy rain? Yeah, that means occasional, like rain, and then not, no rain, and then more rain again. That's a cop-out word, patchy rain. Yeah, Why? No, no. That just covers all bases. No, 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 patchy, patchy rain. rain. And the chance of showers. Is there a chance of sunshine? Yes. Well, you didn't say that. Well, because the rain is more important today than the shower uh, than the sunshine. I think you just tell us what we want to hear. When we grill you, you go, "Oh yes, there'll be sunshine," <laughs> but you don't know. If you say things like "there's going to be a chan- chance of sun and cloud and patchy rain," you're covering all bases, really, with the exception of locusts and earthquake. Dave, it really is a mixed bag today, w- weather-wise. The heat wave is gone, unfortunately, as everyone knows, and. It will be a bit sunny, but it won't be as sunny. So that's now not the most important bit. The important bit is the fact that there's lots of rain. Why don't you just repeat after me? All right. I, I don't, don't know, know what, what I'm, I'm talking about. Talking about, which See? is absolutely not true, obviously. That's true. It's not true. It is true. It's comprehensive weather. Any When's idiot. When's the sun coming? Weather information for the nation. When's the sun coming? Two-ish. No, you... I don't know when the sun's coming. I Why mean, not? You could go out now and see some sun, but it's patchy, just like the rain. Like your reports are patchy. No, no, yeah. no. It's like, like your like head like before you decided to shave all the hair off. 20, patchy. 22 degrees is going to be how warm it is at a maximum today. But that's not hot because it has been like 30, you know, 31 and stuff, isn't it? The biggest thing that's patchy is your grasp on meteorology. <laughs> on what day? On I can't really say <laughs> meteorology. <laughs> meteorology. Yeah. Meteorology. So, per- so perliative. Yeah. Oh, by the way, somebody texted, well, a few people texted in saying before, you know when I said about superlatives and I gave some examples of superlatives? Apparently <laughs> none of them were superlatives. <laughs> right. 